I tell you, I showed up on June 28th, uh, 1954, <laughs> fresh out of the master's degree at the University of Illinois. I wanted to go to work for a civil engineering consulting firm because I felt that they did real engineering. And after interviewing a few firms, I was able to latch on to a position as a bridge engineer with Gannett Fleming. Absolutely no experience, but we started out and that was my position for a couple of years. After that, what they called the electronic computer came into vogue. And a lot of people were using it, but it was very expensive for a consultant engineer because it was about $4,000 a month was your rental and it couldn't do what you're carrying in your pocket does. So at that time, everything was on cards, and you printed out cards, and then you grabbed that deck of output cards and went over to IBM 407, and if somebody had wired the board correctly, you could then print it out. So it was about two years later that they were looking for somebody to do the programming for the transportation division which was the Highway, Bridge, and Traffic Division at that time. So uh, they selected me to be the Transportation Division programmer because the big thing about the computer, it ran like blazes, but they didn't have any programs that were useful to an engineer. So it took us a little bit of time to finally realize that we at Gannett had to have somebody who would program this computer. It improved the speed of design, I believe it did improve accuracy. It also enabled you to try more alternatives. When I joined the firm, uh, Farley Gannett and Fleming and Cordry and Carpenter were still here, and I eventually knew all of them because of my work on the computer, which was new at Gannett Fleming, and they didn't know anything about it, so that served me in good stead, and as a result, they knew who I was. It was fascinating and a job that I really enjoyed.